Hey everyone, here's a look at our real photo film grain pack, a handcrafted high res collection of 100 film grain textures scanned in at 8K resolution and sourced from a variety of 35 millimeter film stocks from the likes of Kodak, Ilford, Cine Still, and Lomachrome. The pack is compatible with all photo and video editing software from Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, Final Cut, DaVinci, and more. I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to add these real film grain overlays to your images in Photoshop, along with a few other photo editing techniques to get the real film look that you want. Let's drop in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next. Let's get started. So the reason why we created this pack was we were just tired of using the Photoshop filter, the grain filter. Uh, we wanted something real. And so what we ended up doing was shooting 20 different 35 millimeter film stocks and then pulling the grain off of them and all of the photo film frames from them. So this pack is one of our new favorites. So it's just a hundred high res JPEG images of film grain from like we're saying, a variety of different 35 millimeter film. So you'll get all the wonderful film, dirt and grain and noise directly on the film emulsion that you can really add, just drag and drop directly onto your digital photos. It'll transform your imagery into looking exactly like film. And so let's jump into Photoshop and show you how easy it is to use these. I got I'm going to show you two different examples. What I'm going to do is grab one of our film grain images like this one. Just drag it on top of your image. Scale it up to fit the whole image. And then I'm going to rasterize it by clicking on layer at the top and then rasterize, rasterize layer. And you will click on it and change your blending mode right there in the menu bar right above it. And you can just scroll through and find which one you like the best. And so typically you're going to find something in the light and screen, color dodge, linear dodge, overlay, soft light, and hard light. Those are typically going to be the blending modes that you will find give you the best results. But as always, there's no rules to this. So have fun with it. You can just make it a, a very light film look on top of your image, or you can make it more grungy by adding another film grain overlay on top of this. So one of the photo editing techniques that we like to use to bring up the contrast in the film grain overlay is to click on that layer and you can press Control M or Apple M and that brings up your curves. And what we wanna do is add a simple S curve to your image. There you go and see you're gonna start getting much more noticeably the specks and the hair and all those little imperfections are gonna start shining through a little bit more prevalent. And so I wanna make this more grungy, so I'm gonna add another one. Let's go ahead and, here we go, that's a good one. Let's go ahead and drop film grain 20 on top. Scale it up to fit the image. I'm going to rasterize it by again clicking on layer at the top and rasterize, rasterize layer. And then I'm going to do command M, bring down the blacks, bring up the whites and create more of that contrast. And as you can see, that is creating a lot more contrast. The whites, the dust are much more noticeable. Click OK. Once again, come down and change the blending mode. I think lighten is looking pretty good. And so as you can see, right, you're gonna see all the difference right here. And you can easily scale this up more so that the grain is more noticeable. There's no rules to this. So you wanna make it more grungy by all means. You can scale it up. You can duplicate it by pressing Apple J or Command J. Duplicate it, spin it around change it up so now you're getting all this grain throughout the image and now this is very much more grungy and gritty and vintage looking than what it initially was right awesome so that's how you can easily add real film grain to your photos to get that vintage gritty look i'm going to show you one more example here 
I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull out one of the film grain overlays. And as you will see, as I'm scanning through a number of these film grains, there are slightly different tints, tones, colors. If you find one and you like the amount of film grain on it, like this one that has a little bit more kind of a purplish tone to it, you're not limited to that being purple over your image. And let me show you how you can easily still use that film grain overlay without really affecting the color of the image. So I've dropped that over top of my image. I'm going to rasterize that layer by going to layer, rasterize layer. And as you'll see, right, so this will kind of change the, you'll see it's, it's a little bit more purple-ish. Well, you can change that by going up to your image adjustments and then go to black and white and that will make your film grain black and white. And then here again, you can press Apple M to bring up your curves, bring down the darks, bring up the whites to add that contrast and a lot of that wonderful texture in here. Click OK. And then you can go back to your blending modes and find the blending mode that you like the best. For this one, I like overlay. I'm going to duplicate that flip that over and here you're getting a lot more of that noticeable grain in it. And what you can do is if it's messing with the image too much, just play with the opacity, bring the opacity down if you want. You can simply bring down the opacity. Let's go ahead and add one more. It's really nice. I'll add this one from green 65, drop that on top, scale it up over the image. And I wanna make this much more noticeably grungy again, so I'm going to scale up this film grain. Okay, rasterize that by clicking Layer Rasterize, Layer, and then Apple M, once again, I'm going to bring down the blacks, bring up the whites, create that contrast, and then find the blending mode that I like the best. I think Linear Dodge Add looks really nice with this kind of combination of different film grain overlays and I'm going to duplicate that again. That looks pretty all right. Bring down the opacity of that layer and then let's bring down the overall saturation of that image and that's starting to look really nice. As you can see we're getting all that film dust, dirt, and grain directly on top of the image. And let me show you two little final ways that really take your film look to the next level. As we were saying from the beginning, we shot and scanned in over 20 unique 35 millimeter film rolls. And this pack is a great complement to another one that we just created, Photo Film Frames Volume 2, where you're gonna get a ton of different Cine Still, Fuji Film, Ilford, Kodak, and Lomachrome film frames. And so you're also gonna get photo film burns, black and white color, and a bunch of other film textures. And so what you can do is, let's go ahead and drag in a film burn that we wanna add to this image, along with a film frame. Do something like the Cine Still 400. These come in kind of more or less like strips of five. So we'll get to that in just a second. So I'm going to bring that up above my film grain layer. Same thing with the film burn. And I'm just gonna reposition the film burn to be on the right side of our subject. And I'm going to simply just play with the blending mode and find the blending mode I like the best. I think lighten looks really nice. So I'm gonna leave that and then add in my photo film frame, scale it up over the image and then scale everything accordingly to fit within that film frame. Crop out the rest and there we go. That's how we get some authentic film looks on your digital imagery to really transform it, make it look like it was shot on 35 millimeter film. 
So we highly recommend checking out our film textures category. It's the complete film textures toolkit for photo and video. We have everything in there to transform your photos and video and make them look exactly just like film. So have fun with this. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.